Hey, what is going on guys and girls? ChatGPT has released plugins. So in today's video, I'll be going over some of my favorite plugins from ChatGPT. If you haven't been able to play around with the plugins as yet, it may just be a settings issue. Head over to settings, beta features, and turn on plugins. But do note that you need to have a ChatGPT Plus account for um, you to be able to use plugins right now. So once you have plugins enabled, there's a bunch of different plugins in which you can choose from. You can head over to the plugin store and browse through a bunch of different plugins but honestly none of them are really applicable especially if you're writing or creating content online so in today's video i wanted to go over one plugin that i found that really helps you with your seo and allows you to do some competitor research keyword research and also write seo optimized blog post so that plugin is called webpilot so webpilot allows you to browse and qa web page generate articles from one or more URLs. So let's go ahead and enable that plugin. So once you have the plugin enabled, the first thing that we'll do is we'll paste in a competitor website and we'll ask ChatGPT to take the information from that website and write us a similar blog post, but do not plagiarize that website. So for example, let's say we wanted to outrank a competitor for the keyword best running shoes. Now, of course, there's a bunch of different keyword research and competitive research tactics in which we can employ, but the best tactic is obviously what's been done by the first ranking blog post of that specific keyword. So what we can do is we can gather that URL, head back over to ChatGPT, and we can tell it to using the facts and information from this blog post URL. And again, we went ahead and pasted in that URL, write us an in-depth and comprehensive blog post article for the same topic. Be sure to not plagiarize and write in your own words. So let's go ahead and run this. Yep, so we can see the plugin working. And if you want to go ahead and click on the drop down menu, you'll be able to see exactly the steps that it takes for it to be able to gather all of that information. So we see that it does go ahead and read through all of the content from um, that specific article. And then it is able to take that information to write us our own unique article. Okay, so here is the full article in which we're able to get back. And as you can see, it's actually a pretty well written article, very well formatted, talks about the top picks which is about five different shoes here. If we take a look at the um, original article, I think it's about 10 different shoes. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's the first five, but if we click show more, there is a bunch of other shoes. So I guess it was only able to pick up on five of those shoes, which is not bad. Um, we still are able to get a pretty high quality article. Only drawback is that it's a little bit short for my liking. So what you would probably have to do is you would have to either ask ChatGPT to expand on the sections, or you can ask it to first generate an outline and then use that outline um, to generate the output because that usually allows you to get longer pieces of content. But um, just for this test, I think it works pretty well. Um, as you can see, it was able to gather that information from that website and then write us our own unique article. The reason why this is really cool is because if you want to write an article about more up to date or factual information, you can't really do that with ChatGPT because again, it's only trained up to 2021. So you can plug in one of your competitor website or even plug in an Amazon listing and it will take be able to take that information and generate an article for you. So for example, I've pasted in a URL from Amazon about the best mic for singing and I've asked ChatGPT to use this information and write an in-depth Amazon affiliate blog post about this topic and be sure to include a table with specs and write in markdown. And here's the output that we got back for that specific blog post. We can see here it's pretty well done. We get the key features for that product. We get a specifications table, in-depth review, and a conclusion, again, a little bit shorter than I would like it to be, but you get the idea. You can use this plugin to help you um, gather key information and then turn that into a blog post or you can use it to gather key information that will allow you to outrank your competitors. So that's the second way in which you can use this plugin. So let's say instead of having ChatGPT write the content for us, we just want to get recommendations in which we can implement within our article to outrank this competitor. What we can do is we can paste in the URL and then you can tell ChatGPT to extract all of the key ranking factors for this competitor blog post that is ranking high on Google and let me know what I need to do to outrank this blog for the keyword best running shoes. So again, a little bit of a different approach. We're pasting in the URL, but we're extracting the ranking factors and the things that we need to consider if we want outrank this blog post okay so here we go we get some recommendations that we can follow if we would like to outrank that competitor blog post so number one is quality content so while that blog post does provide in-depth reviews of various running shoes that your blog post should also provide comprehensive and valuable content to the reader keyword optimization the keyword best running shoes is used throughout the blog post so you would also have to do that use your experience the blog post is well structured with clear headings and subheadings 
backlinks, regular updates. The blog post is regularly updated with new information. Okay, I don't know how we got that information, but uh, that could be very useful. It's mobile optimized. It has social sharing, page speed, meta description, and uh, domain authority. So obviously some of these things you can fix with your content. Some of these things are more about off-page SEO and about your website um, optimization. But again, you're still getting some key insights here that you can use to help you um, write a better blog post than your competitors. And again, this makes it so much easier when you're creating your content because you're already creating your content in ChatGPT. So this allows you to speed up your workflow by having these plugins that will do the competitive analysis for you. The next way in which you can use this plugin is by allowing it to do your keyword research or giving you ideas for keyword optimization for your blog posts. So I've pasted in the competitor URL, which is the same URL that we've been using in this video. And I've asked it to extract all of the main keywords related to best running shoes and also give us the variations of those keywords and include the number of times that keyword was used and format in an easy to read table. So let's go ahead and run this and see if we're able to get some, um, some recommendations in terms of the keyword usage within that article. Okay, so here's the keywords in which we're able to get back. And as you can see, we get a lot of really useful information here. Running shoes was used 35 times within that article. Best running shoes 10 times, road running shoes 8 times, trail running shoes 5 times, and so on. And as you can see here, it continues going. I had to stop it because um, I didn't really want to generate that many keywords. But again, you see here, you're getting a lot of um, very useful keywords. that You can then go ahead and paste that into ChatGPT and tell it to use these keywords within your article just to make sure that you're um, including those target keywords within your articles. And just to make sure that it's all correct, let's paste the first keyword, which is running shoes. And it seems as though it was used about 30 times. And I believe that's what we got from um, ChatGPT 35 times. Um, it was still pretty close. So you definitely are able to get um, up to date information when using this plugin and using these prompts for keyword research. Now, the last and very effective way that you can use this plugin is by extracting the main headings from a variety of blog posts. So as I mentioned earlier, this um, plugin not only extracts content from one um, URL, you can extract content from multiple different URLs. So again, let's say if I wanted to gather the main H1s for a specific blog post, I can go ahead and copy those various links and I'm going to paste it into ChatGPT. And now I'm going to ask ChatGPT to extract the main headings from this blog post, including the H1, H2, H3, and H4 tags. Now let's go ahead and see how this tool does with multiple URLs. So it looked as though it was able to go over three of the URLs because there's three different web pilot sort of drop down menus here. So I'm not sure if it was able to um, clump two of them together. The good sign is, is that we see that it was able to um, read the prompt and give us the main headings from the blog post that we provided. The reason why it gave us three um, URLs instead of four was because I duplicated a URL. So you can add as many URLs as you like. And as you can see here, you're able to get um, some really, really um, effective information here because you're able to get the main headings and the subheadings for some of the top ranked articles. And again, what you can do is you can take that information and you can go ahead and pop that into ChatGPT to help you formulate an outline and then have ChatGPT generate the article based upon that outline. So as you can see, there's a variety of different use cases for this plugin. I'm sure that there's other plugins that are very similar like this. This is the first plugin that I came across that I actually use and found that you can have some um, useful use cases, especially if you're creating content online. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And if there's any specific plugins that you would like me to um, review, let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.